we're going to be taking the derivative of radical expressions. And so we're going to start with our simplest radical expression where the function of x is equal to taking the square root of x. And so all we really have to do is use our difference quotient and take that h down to zero again. So what is f at x plus h? Well, f at x plus h has to be equal to the square root of x plus h. After all, the function at x is equal to the square root of x. And so, of course, the function of x is just equal to the square root of x. Let's put this into the difference quotient. The slope function is equal to the limit as h goes to zero. Of the square root of x plus h minus the square root of x, all divided by h. Notice that I have one of these tricky expressions with radicals in it. Now, if I send uh, put in my limit right now, then this is going to be the square root of x minus the square root of x all over zero. So, sorry, square root of x minus square root of x, zero over zero, can't have it. However, I can very trickily use the, use the conjugate to rationalize the numerator. Let's see where that goes. And so notice I've selected my conjugate. All I have to do is change the sign that's between the two radical expressions. This is going to magically, or mathematically rather, math magically, remove the radical expressions from the numerator. Maybe I can get something that makes sense when I do that. And so there we go. Notice when we expand the radical, square root of x plus h times the square root of x plus h is just x plus h. Uh, the negative square root of x times the square root of x is just x. And the stuff in the middle disappears because we used the conjugate, and that's the good news. Now the bottom looks bad, but let's leave it alone. Okay, look at the top. We can do some simplification here. Notice I have an h in the bottom and an h in the top. And of course, when they divide, they both turn to 1. Now I have something that when I substitute my 0 for h, I can work with it. And so there we go, a simplified radical expression, f at x equals the square root of x, becomes 1 half times 1 over the square root of x. And we're going to see that that's actually consistent with what we call the power rule in the near future.